In this video lesson, we will learn about tangents and secants, specifically tangents that intersect secants outside of the circle. So this video is actually very similar about uh, similar to the intersecting secants and intersecting chords. It's the last of the three. So here we have a circle, and I'll remind you that a secant intersects a circle twice. And it, here's another secant. But there are also tangents. And the tangent to a circle is a line that intersects the circle exactly once. So it just skims by, touching it once. This is a tangent. So we're, what we're going to learn is a very interesting fact about what happens when a tangent line intersects a secant line. So here's this drawing. We have the tangent of length a, and then we have the, the secant of length x plus y, with x on the outside and y on the inside. And the theorem is that a squared equals to x times x plus y, or the square of the tangent is equal to the outside part of the secant times the whole secant. So now we're going to apply this to several problems. So here we're looking for x, and we have x is tangent, so we do x squared equals 9 times, and then the length of the whole secant is 9 plus 3. So we simplify this and we get 9 times 12, or in other words, 108. And to find x, we need to actually take the square root of that, so the square root of 108. And to simplify that, we're actually going to need to factor it back. So I rewrite it as 9 times 12, and then we have square root of 9 times 4 times 3. 9 and 4 are perfect squares of 3 and 2, so we can pull them out 3 times 2 times root 3. And this simplifies to 6 root 3. So x equals 6 root 3 is the answer. And now, of course, we would like to check and make sure that 6 root 3 works. So we're just going to do that. We replace x with 6 root 3. We plug it in, 6 root 3 squared equals 9 times, and then the whole length of the segment is 9 plus 3, which will be 12. So we square this, that's 36 times 3, equals 9 times 12, and we get 108 equals 108, which is true. So x equals 6 root 3 is correct. So we're ready for the next problem. All right, find x. So we do the same thing as before. We just apply the theorem. You get 12 squared times equals equals 6 times 6 plus x. Now I just solve. 144 equals 6 times 6 is 36. And then we have 6x. And we just got to solve for x from here. So we start by subtracting by 36 on both sides. And that simplifies down to 108 equals 6x. All right, so 108 equals 6x. To solve for x, we just divide by 6. And we get x equals 108 over 6. And 108 over 6 is actually just 18. So x equals 18. And we'll want to replug this in to make sure that it works. So if we assume that x equals 18, then we have 12 squared equals 6 times 6 plus 18. 12 squared is 144. And then we get 6 times 24. But 6 times 24 
you can use a calculator or write it out by hand. 6 times 24 is equal to 144, and that's correct. Therefore, x equals 18. We're done. All right, now for a last problem. Segment AB is tangent to the circle. Find the radius. So BC is a diameter, and the radius is from OB or, or from O to B or from O to C. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to solve for the entirety of BC and then worry about the radius later. So x is the diameter, but we'll get to that later. We just label BC as x and AB is tangent, so that's why this is labeled as 90 degrees. Uh, it's in a different video lesson, but I explained that the tangent line is perpendicular to the radius. So here it's just given in the problem, but it's actually just the true fact. So let me read, reiterate. The tangent is perpendicular to the radius. For that, we'll look at the video lesson about uh, properties of tangents. And secondly, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's say segment AB is equal to Y. So then we have X squared plus Y squared is equal to and the hypotenuse is 5 plus 4, so it's 5 plus 4 squared, which is 9 squared, which is 81. So now we want x, but to get x, we need y. So now we need to calculate y somehow. But y we can do pretty easily. It's tangent to the circle, so we apply the theorem that we learned in this lesson. y squared equals 5 times 5 plus 4. And that is equal to 5 times 9, which is 45. And in fact, we don't actually need to solve 4y because we just need y squared in that equation. So I replace y squared with 45, and we get x squared plus 45 equals 81. So x squared equals 81 minus 45 is 36. We take the square root, and x equals 6. But we're not quite done. Remember, x was the entirety of bc. It's the diameter. What we want is OB or OC, or in other words, half of X. So the radius is half of that. We divide at 6 by 2, and we get 3. So the radius of the circle is 3. And that concludes the problem. Well, thank you for watching this video lesson. I hope it helped.